Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you my Arduino OLED keyboard. It uses just three buttons, like my menus, and it uses the U8G library, Universal 8-bit graphics library. Let's plug it in and I'll show you. It starts with the word test. It uses C strings, so a char array. You can see it refreshing due to the way that the light's on. I'll actually take the light away, we wouldn't see that. But let's put the light back on. Anyway, it has some standard functions. You can set uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special chars, and of course, you can delete characters. So if we go over here, let's start with a capital letter. And let's just write something simple. It has a few other functions I'll show you in a second. You're not just limited to the size of the input box. You can also scroll past it. When calling this function, you pass the argument of the array you wish to set and the length of the array. The length of the array also determines the number of characters that will be displayed, minus one for the null character at the end. So let's write hello, put a space in there, space being the first special character, I'll show you all the special characters. As you can see it has got a cursor that blinks. That's our space, then we have underscore, underscore, many other ones. It will loop back round as with any other function. We'll just go back round to the space. Oh, just gone past it. There it is. We'll just stick with the case now. And let's just write Hello guys. But actually we want it to overflow, so we'll write a bit more than that, but I'll just do it quickly. As you can see I'm using it going backwards because it's quicker. That's what I meant by overflow. And we'll just go to another space. We can use an underscore this time just to show another function. Hello guys, we'll put hello guys, how are you? But we may not fit now, I've called it for 20 maximum chars. I'll show you that in a second. Hello, is it quicker to go backwards? It is for the W. Hello guys, how? I'll just put how you, because I know we won't fit it in there. But I'll show you what happens when you get to the end of the array. And we should be approaching it soon. Hello, how, hello guys, how's you? So we're going backwards. And I'll show you what happens when we reach the end. And I'll of course show you the delete function. Oh no, I will show you that. <laughs> I'm rambling on, sorry. Um, so, are we at the end yet? No. Hello, how, guys, how are you? Um, I delete that one. I just want to get to the end of the array. I should be able to count that, really. Hello, guys, how are you doing? Oh, are we at the end? Yep, yeah, so this may be the end char. It is. So we'll replace that for a question mark, shall we? Now, that's what I mean. When you get to the end of the array, it will just change the end character. It will not overflow. Have we got a question mark? It's probably... wasn't paying attention, probably gone right past it. Hmm. I must have left it out my my special char race. Right, let's show you what happens once you've reached the end. Now you're probably thinking, I can't see the rest of the string, how am I to tell if it's correct? Well after ten seconds of leaving the input box, it will scroll your whole string. Your C string rather. And it will finish exactly where you left off. And you can obviously delete that now. And what happens when you press OK? Once you press OK, 
it would normally return to your menu a home screen to which it would pass this C string in the input box to the array you passed in the argument. I'll show you the argument. So here we'll pass in the array SSID and the number 20. So here's our array up there and as I said it starts with the words test. The example uses very little, including the U8 gene library, and we're just using the standard pins. Here I'm using an Arduino Mega. Sorry about all this extra wiring, I've got another sketch all together with a CO2 sensor and a few other things. But anyway, that's my free button keyboard. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.